There is no way to make peace between us. I am an Arab and he is Jew, and that's it. You leave me no choice. If Egypt wages another war against Israel, the United States will crush you. And Egypt will be alone, destroyed, friendless for generations because of you. You want to become our enemy? You decide right now. You threaten me. It's a statement of fact. Either we accept to be humiliated by the Jew, or America will destroy us. If I ask my people to choose, I know. They will refuse to be on their knees before the Jew. On what? We have been warned. God has told us we cannot trust the Jew. They are a treacherous people. Oh, that doesn't sound like Anwar Sadat. It's not worthy of you. The Quran is filled with messages of tolerance. Do not quote me the Quran. وَقَالُوا قُلُوبُنَا غُرْفٌ بَلْ لَعْنَاهُمُ اللَّهُ بِكُفْرِهِمْ فَقَلِيلًا مَا يُؤْمِنُونَ The Jew are cursed because they turned away from God. Look, I have known bigots all my life, and they almost always pick up a holy book to justify their prejudice. You're an ignorant man. <coughs> ignorant of who we are. You know nothing about our problems, and yet you think you can solve them all at once. No, you're not only ignorant, you're crazy. Oh, you're right, you're right. It was a crazy idea, completely insane. Put an Arab and a Jew on a mountaintop in, in Maryland and ask them to make peace? What was I thinking? <laughs> These people don't care about peace. They just want to go on waging war century after century, bleeding into the sand because God wants them to hate each other.